the man of the hour. And you're the hottest scoop this year. Got a few moments for an exclusive? Sorry, maybe some other time, Reg. I got a lot of prep for the playoffs. <sighs> but I'll tell you what, if you give me the exclusive, I'll put together your senior highlight reel for recruiting next year. Wow, you'd really do that? Heck yeah. I, mean, I got a lot of tricks to get a lot of eyes on your tape, too. Yeah, I do that for all the guys that are pretty nice to me, which is the kicker and now you. Sold. I need as much help as I can get with recruiting. All right. Let's get started. Wow, great. Okay. Um, let me think. Oh, regarding your last game, what would you say is your biggest strength? My biggest strength? Uh, well, I felt like I was able to get away from the rush and then buy enough time to make plays. All right, well, if you're not going to play me, I quit. Well, Rich, I guess there's your exclusive. Need a word from my office. Welcome to our EA Sports live stream from Little Rock the home of the Arkansas High School Football State Championship and the host of tonight's clash between the Brush Hogs and the Bulls. Thrilled to be joining you this evening. I'm Kevin Connors. Well, the anticipation is over. A year's worth of blood, sweat, and tears has come down to this. Game time in the state championship. His decision to bring it out proves fruitful as he puts together a great return. The Bulls take over on offense. And you know, with a state championship on the line, every drive can seem like it's the most critical. Yeah, there's the snap. And they're unable to hook up on that play. Here comes second down. As anyone knows, high schoolers and social media, it can be a recipe for drama. And Clay Rainey stirred up some controversy this week when he predicted a championship win for his Brush Hogs. You can imagine how well that went over with QB2 and his squad. Spoiler alert, not well. out a distinct possibility on this opening drive it's third and long back to throw here's QB2 and that's incomplete Gulver the one to keep it away okay so you're hitting me up on social media wanting to know exactly what Clay Rainey posted and it was an invitation to his championship party tomorrow evening yes very bold and you know what he was pretty quick to delete it too well, it appears we have ourselves an offensive coordinator ready to take a risk. And he's got it. Past the 20. You've got to love it, baby. Touchdown. Jameson Maddox. A show-stopping score from beyond midfield. Here's Myers now for the extra point. And that's good for a 7-0 lead. Giving up the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. This is fielded just inside the goal line, and it'll be a touchback as he elects to take a knee. Quarterback Gavin Dixon and his Brush Hogs offense take the field for the first time in this title game. And they can't make the connection, so it'll be second down. So the comments keep coming in now on my channel, and yes, I did see Sammy Hawk's reaction to the Clay Rainey party invite. For those who haven't, here's what Hawk said. You can delete the post, but screenshots live forever. There you have it. Everyone from playmakers to politicians take heed. The new era of bulletin board material is here. To throw on third down. Here's Dixon. And it'll be incomplete. Well, 
for the Brush Hogs, this game marks a return to the state championship. It's, it's a chance for redemption after losing a blowout just one year ago in this very same stadium. The history they bring to this matchup adds a whole new dimension to this showdown. And he's down at the 45-yard line. Bulls send out their offense, and all eyes are on QB2 as he gets set for this drive. I think every smartphone in the stands is pointed at that young man. Fakes to Hawk and looks to pass. Delivers the ball, and it's complete. Tackled as he pulls in the ball. It's a gain of two on the catch, bringing up second and eight. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's QB2. Second down, back to pass. He finds his tight end. He's all by himself. That's Ten. all you got! And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulls! Just two plays needed to find the end zone. Now for the point after. And they stretch the lead 14 to nothing. Touchdown, the Bulls are ready to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. Hey, nothing ventured, nothing gained. They'll take it, right? This drive starts out past the 25. The Brush Hogs send out their offense. And you know, signal caller Gavin Dixon, he's no stranger to pressure. He led the way to victory in a couple nail biters earlier this season. And he'll scoot his way forward for a solid game. So earlier today, while speaking with Brush Hogs coach George Thompson, I asked if their loss in the title game last year came up at all in their preparations this week. You know what he said? He said they took the game film and they buried it. He insisted they put it behind them and they are ready to raise the trophy. So meanwhile, this offense needs to score any kind of points on this drive. Operating now on the opposite side of the field. It's first down. Dixon hands off to Rainey. Not much doing here on the short pickup to about the 47. And while I've got a moment here, I'd like to thank my guy Reggie Brown for the well-researched game notes he gave me earlier. Reggie writes for the school newspaper that's covered QB2 since he joined the team. And I got to tell you, that little sparky has really earned my respect. Might be after my job one day. Look, I'm sure that punter is a good kid and all, but they want to see as little of him as possible. And if they don't convert here, his twig legs are coming back out again for the second straight series. Just a textbook defensive play there to force the incompletion. Here comes fourth down. Gavin Dixon, the field general of this Brush Hogs team and someone who comes from a family with deep ties to Nebraska football. His dad, Clyde, played running back for the Huskers, as did his older brother, Tommy. Mom, Olivia, was a star on the Huskers track team, so I'm not so sure Gavin has ever even considered going anywhere else. the drive with Hawk. And he doesn't waste any time picking up the first. He opens that series with an excellent run. So I mentioned the game notes Reggie gave me earlier, and here's an interesting fact. Rush Hogs head coach George Thompson once played Coach Fetu in a football game back in college. Now, it wasn't for a championship, but Coach Fetu's Trojans won that non-conference showdown. Amazing how we've come full circle here today. Moving right along on this drive, here's first and ten. Hawk gets the handoff. 
He breaks free. Another day, another touchdown. touchdown. Sammy Hall. And that's a play worthy of recruits to watch.com. Myers now to add the extra point. And they add yet another point. One of many in this matchup. They're up big right now. So the scoreboard reads 21 to 0. Needing a score on this drive, they're lined up for the return. Caught in the end zone. And we won't see a return here as he kneels for the touchback. The Brush Hogs take over on offense. And at this stage of the game, every minute counts for them to have any shot at making a comeback. And he's taken down after a huge gain on the play. A 22-yard gain, and that's a first down and then some. his way across midfield to the 48-yard line. So time expires on the first quarter of play. Three more to go in this state championship showdown. Back in a moment. So the second quarter is now underway, and appropriately enough, it's second down. He makes the delivery. First down, Brush Hogs. I mentioned earlier Gavin's ties to Nebraska football. Look, he's obviously been asked about it since, I think, the eighth grade. And to his credit, he's never been shy about saying, yeah, I mean, if given the opportunity, who wouldn't want to be a Husker? So it's not a done deal till he signs that letter of intent, but there's a very good chance we'll see this young man in Lincoln someday. Surveys the field. You know, another thing about Nebraska football, we've got a couple of former Cornhuskers in the house here today. Levante David and Rex Burkhead are here to take in this championship game. Tip of the cap to my pal Reggie for the heads up on that. Looking to throw here, Dixon gets it to Kirkpatrick. And he's down at the 40-yard line. A pickup of 10 on the play, so it'll be fourth and eight. The Brush Hogs lined up, ready to punt it away. And here's the kick. And this will wind up being a touchback. So the Bulls are lined up now. It's just been amazing to see. They've yet to finish a drive without putting points on the scoreboard. The drive begins on the ground with Hawk. Can't be denied, boy. He breaks away. The train. Time, baby. Ten. Touchdown. Sammy Hall. I can hear and you. that's the kind of play we've come to expect. Now to tack on another point. And he gets it to go. The score now 28 to nothing. After giving up the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. Fielded in the end zone. And he's down at the 25. That's it, baby. That's it right there. Here come the Brush Hogs to start the drive. And we'll see if they've come up with anything to prevent this drive from ending with yet another punt. Dixon's pass is intercepted. It's sad they pay me. I'll do this for free. And it's all the way home. Touchdown, Bulls. They just continue to light up the scoreboard. Now the try to add one more. And the point after attempt is good. Our score now, 35 to 0. champions signing off now i'm kevin connors as we give way to this euphoric scene 
Right here, this is my favorite part. The spin move you do. Breaking that dude's ankles and the stiff arm, whoa! Reminds me of my playing days, Samoan warrior style. <laughs> it's too bad you stepped out of bounds. You could have scored a touchdown. Well, there's no way he could have dodged. Tommy, how the heck have you been? <laughs> hey, Tommy, how you feeling, man? Good. Got a clean bill of health. I'm ready to get back out there. Come on in, have a seat. Didn't think you'd be back. Trust me, I tried transferring. Doesn't seem like any other schools want to accept a perceived health risk. But I've got a clearance for my doctor, coach. I'm ready to play. What do you think? It's only right you take his spot back. I was just keeping it warm for you. You know, the team seems to be doing just fine with you out there. And seeing that you're kind of thin at receiver, I was thinking that maybe I could help out by lining up outside. Shoot, yeah. We'll work something out. Like you said, Coach, you gotta do what's right for the team. That's the best news I've heard since my Aunt Lokalani's bore one best in show. I'm gonna get the playbook. We're gonna start drawing some stuff up. Woo! <laughs> I know I'm not your favorite person in the world right now. <laughs> You're not even in my top seven billion. <laughs> That's fair. Just know I did what I did to protect you, not to try and take everything that you worked for. And I can understand if you're angry with me, but I'm gonna do everything I can to make it right. I'll tell you how you can make it right. The Midwest Prep Showcase, later this season against the Central Hawks. What about it? Well, they're the best team in the country and it's a nationally televised game. That means every recruiter's gonna see it. So what do you want from me? I just want you to let me go out there and do my thing and show the recruiters what I can do. It's my last chance of getting an offer. Fine. But if it's not working out out there, then I gotta get the other guys involved. Trust me. You won't need to. One of the loudest venues in the NFL on Sundays looks to be no different on a Friday night. We've got a packed house for the Midwest Prep Showcase. Soon, two of the best high school football teams in the nation will collide here at Arrowhead Stadium when the Hawks take on the Bulls. Wait, it's... it's your... Yeah, rapper, producer, entrepreneur, Snoop Deal Double G. Please believe it, that's me. But hold up. Ain't you one half of them heartbreak boys? I'm a huge fan of yours. Nah, man, I'm a fan of yours. Check this out. If the coach and half the stadium knew what I was about to say, they'd try to run me out of this town, man. But let me tell you this. I've been following y'all's story for quite some time. And I'm pulling for y'all tonight. Wow. That's... that's amazing. Thank you so much. For sure, my brother. Now get out there and go do your thing. Snoop, you know Tommy Matthews? Tommy! Hey. Hey, man, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. I'm such a fan, man. Hey, likewise. Love your hard work, your dedication, and how you just put the team and put everything on your back, man. That's beautiful, man. It takes a whole lot to do what you did. Wow. Thanks, man. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all better get out there and make it count, man. It's a whole lot of schools that's gonna be watching y'all tonight. And I got a feeling I'm gonna see y'all again. Good luck. All out. Will do. <laughs> Thanks, Snoop. For Shizzle, Snoop. Yo, we just met Snoop Dio Double G. I know. That was cool. What? Let's go do this, man. <laughs> La di da di da. <laughs> well, the crowd is loud and on its feet as Ricky Sutherland gets things started. From a yard or two inside the goal line, he's got it. He's taken down after putting together a nice sequence on that return. So in this matchup of top-ranked quarterbacks, it's QB2 with a chance to strike first on this opening drive. Hawk gets the rock. And that's a tremendous run to lead off the drive. From first down to first down. 
Yeah, so get this. Earlier today, I was speaking with Hawks coach Kevin Robbins, and in typical fashion, he did not hold back about today's matchup. He proclaimed his D would be so good against QB2, they'd end up putting Tommy Matthews back at quarterback. Bold words. All right, so following the short gain, it's second and seven. Out of the gun, it's QB2. Now he dumps it underneath to his running back. And he's across midfield into enemy territory. All these kids so thrilled when they found out this year's edition of the showcase would be played at the home of the Kansas City Chiefs Arrowhead Stadium. This is now a premier event on the high school football calendar. Drops back on third and two. Wait, maybe not. He's on the move. Now he's taken down after picking up the first. Apparently, the kids on the field weren't the only ones thrilled about this game being an arrowhead. We've got an incredible turnout for one of the most hyped matchups of this season. From the gun, it's QB2. Now he finds his target on the out route. And he's tackled at the 21. A 19-yard pickup and a first down for the Bulls. From the back of the eye, Hawk scans the field. can stop him. Working now from within the red zone. It's second and seven. Shotgun snap. Here's QB2. Caught at the six. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulls. They get this party started on the opening drive. Myers now to add the extra point. And that'll make our score 7-0. The Bulls take over on offense. And we've got ourselves a tie ball game as they open up this drive. QB2 hands it off to Hawk. And he's brought down after a nice gain on the play. I mentioned a few colleges earlier with recruiters in attendance. My guy Reggie gave me a list with a few more names on it, and you know it's a heavyweight matchup when you've got schools like Oregon, Florida, and Southern California among the fans here today. Fires down the middle, and it's complete. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. A 31-yard gain. And now everyone's on their feet, myself included. Hawk gets the handoff. Cuts to the right sideline. Bring it! And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulls! Sammy Hawk, a showcase highlight for years to come. And he knocks it through. The advantage now, 14 to 7. Wow, it appears they're going to run a play rather than run out the clock. Not exactly sportsmanlike. And he's finally tackled after a solid run. And that will do it the bulls win the showcase on behalf of everyone at ea sports i'm kevin connors signing off